In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the drawing tool. And the drawing tool allows me to draw some basic shapes. I have a rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, and a line. I also have a few other options that I can change here on my properties bar, and we'll get into these as we start to make some shapes. So right now, when I make this rectangle, I'm just simply going to click and drag, and it's going to fill that rectangle as black. It's also going to have a one pixel border and that border pixel is going to be black as well. So this color palette, this changes the fill color of the shape and this main color down here is actually going to be the color of my border. And because they're both black, you'll notice that I can't see where my fill and where my border are. But if I actually change my border to red, I'm just going to change my border size to 5 so you see the difference. And now when I draw that I actually have a 5 pixel red border. I could also change my shape here to let's say white. So when I go ahead and draw that I'm just simply going to have a uh, white with a red border. I could also change and have it be no border as well. So if I wanted a uh, let's say a blue square and I wanted no border rather than trying to come down here and have my um, fill color and my outline color be the same I could just choose to have a border size of zero so when I draw that it just has a solid shape with no border color my rounded rectangle gives me the opportunity to change the radius and the smaller the radius the smaller the edge this is going to be my radius here in the corner I also have the ability to make a ellipse or a circle again still continuing to change my fill color and my border size my border color if I wanted to then I also have this opacity level as well so if I wanted to change that to an opacity of 50 when I go ahead and make a let's say a green circle right here you'll notice that because the opacity is 50 percent I can see through that shape as well so it's actually not this light green color it just is that I can see through part of it I also have the ability just to simply draw a line and with that line if I wanted that to be a thicker line, I can just simply click and drag, and when I let it go, it's going to draw that line there. Rather than having a color palette up here, it's just going to pick my main color here. So if I wanted just to draw lines, I can just click between two points, and it will draw that line.